In this short video, I will share the result of my chat with Perplexity about how teachers can make exams AI-proof for their students. I will also explain that there are three features of Perplexity that I like when I compare Perplexity AI with ChatGPT from OpenAI or Claude AI from Anthropic. Before you start writing our prompt, please remember to include some important aspects of good prompting techniques such as task, tone of voice, your role, the role of the chatbot, format, and an example. If you'd like to learn more about how to write good prompts, please watch my entire video about prompting techniques. This is the prompt that I used. Task. Write a short letter to teachers in higher education with five recommendations to start rethinking the design process for creating written exams. The role of the chatbot. You are an educational expert in designing exams and examination in higher education with 10 plus years of experience. My role. I am a teacher in higher education with 15 years teaching experience with students. Format. A letter to fellow teachers. Tone. Formal. Example. As an example, I could include documents from the exam committee with guidelines for good exams, but for now, I leave it blank. There are three aspects that I like about Perplexity. As I read the first two recommendations of Perplexity, I like the suggestion to use real-world scenarios that you use as an example in your lessons. The second aspect that I like about Perplexity are these options to search images or to search a video related to your topic. The third aspect that I like about Perplexity is that Perplexity gives me related questions, such as, how can we incorporate technology to enhance the effectiveness of written exams? And there you have it! From now on, you can use Perplexity if you like to find answers to your questions while saving you time and effort. If you like to learn more how AI tools, such as Perplexity, can save you time and effort, then please sign up for my online courses at my website so you can learn from me in your own time at your own pace. On a final note, I would like to share that I used Hagen software, Perplexity AI, and some graphic elements, and lowered thirds from elements in Vado to create this video in Adobe Premiere Pro.